Hello and welcome. This is chapter one. I hope you will stay with me all the way to the end. In this course, we will review a lot of the components about the highway design and how we can estimate and calculate each of those. In this chapter, chapter one, we will go over the topics that we will be covering in this course and introduce some of the basic concepts related to highways and transportation engineering in general. A quick overview of the topics that we will be covering in this course. Chapter one, the current chapter is going over the basic materials and definitions of different highway systems. Chapter second is talking about the vehicle performance on the road and how it will impact the design of highways. In chapter three, we will be talking about the design speed and the side distance in highway engineering. And chapter four will be including different elements of the geometric design of highways, including the vertical highway alignment and the horizontal alignment as well which we will be discussing in chapters five and six. Before we talk about the highway design, we need to take a step back and talk about transportation engineering in general. What is transportation engineering? Now, there are several definitions about transportation engineering, but this one is a generic definition by the Institute for Transportation Engineers or ITE and they define transportation engineering as the application of technology and scientific principles for planning, design, operation and management of facilities or transportation facilities that includes any modes of transportation to provide a safe, comfortable, convenient, rapid, economical an environmentally friendly movement of both people and goods. Now, talking about modes of transportation for both people and goods, this is something that all of us are familiar with. Different modes of transportation includes roads or highway infrastructure, railways, air, water or marine transportation, transportation of energy through pipelines and something that's called intermodal transportation such as transporting cargo freights by different modes of transportation including water or marine transportation and then transfer them to trucks for final destination. Now our focus in this course is road transportation and the highway system. But before we talk about the highway design, it's going to be good to refresh our memory about the highway system, at least in the US. And if you have not already heard about this, the interstate highway system, which is the largest highway system in the United States, was initiated back in 1956 and is also known as the Eisenhower Interstate System. And nowadays, it includes more than 47,000 miles of highways across the United States. Now, the way these highways are numbered is that the ones going south-north are odd numbers and the ones that are going east-west or vice versa are even numbers. Increasing from west to east and from south to north. For example, Interstate 5 or briefly known as I-5 is going south-north in the west coast or in California and all the way to the east coast we have Interstate 95 and then Interstate 10 versus Interstate 90 in the northern part of the United States. Different shields of interstate highway system includes the standard interstates, the shield for wide standard interstates, for local or state interstates, and then we have the business routes that are specified in green shields. 
And then we have the auxiliary interstate highway systems when the interstate highways are going through the cities or around the cities. They are designated as three digit numbers like 210, I-210 or I-610 or I-810. And then at the next level after the interstate highway, we have the U.S. highway system or referred to as numbered highway system in the U.S. And as you can see in this map, the density of these highways are covering much larger area than the interstate system. For each state, we have the state specific highway shields as well as other historical shields for different areas. And then we have the state highway system that the states have their own specific shield for their designated highway system. And you can see examples here. And one more thing to consider is that there is a hierarchy of movement or sometimes we call it road hierarchy. The level of access and mobility is going to be different when we are moving from highways or freeways all the way to local roads. And the way it works is that at the highway level or the freeway level, it is designed for 100% mobility and no interruption or no direct access is granted from the highway. And all the way on the other side for the local roads, it is specifically designed for access only and very much less about mobility. And in between we have the arterial roads, collector roads and service roads. To wrap up this chapter, we talked about the general definition of transportation engineering. Then we talked about modes of transportation and we reviewed different highway systems in the US. The definition of road hierarchy in terms of mobility and access in different types of streets and roads. Thank you for tuning in. That was it for chapter one and I will see you in the next video.